Well, before we get into this video, um, I gotta actually give a huge shout out, even though I know he can't be a dirty player, but I respect the hustle 1000%, uh, to Warriors, Draymond Green, because he did something and he does something that I don't think, unless, uh, y'all let me know if I miss somebody, but he does something that I don't think I've ever seen anybody do, he actually, right after the game, reacts to a game that he played in, does a reaction to his own game that he played in too. And I'm like, oh, man, that, that's crazy. But it, it gives you his personal perspective for what happened. Of course, you can, you can watch the ESPNs, the, the, the NBA network and all that stuff. But to hear it directly from somebody who was actually on the court during the game, who actually gets a lot of playing time, who is a starter, that, that, that says a lot. I, so I, I appreciated the fact that he did that. But anyway, um, the Ravens. I know that was like way from left field. But the Ravens. Uh, they signed two more uh, of their draft picks. Um, of course, yesterday um, they signed tight end Isaiah Likely. I guess um, he was likely to get a... Yeah, we ain't doing no likely jokes. But anyway, uh, they signed tight end Isaiah Likely. And of course, um, he's expected to be uh, a tight end that can stretch the field. Um, then maybe a bit of tight end slash receiver. I'm sure they're going to do a lot of different things with him and Greg Roman's offense uh, because they are not even tight end friendly. They are tight end best friendly because they, Greg Roman's offense, they love tight ends. We've seen plenty of them continue to go off. Uh, guys, obviously Mark Andrews, um, but even remember Vernon Davis too with the 49ers. And I want to say... Um, Charles Clay. Uh, I want to say Charles Clay too from the Bills, but anyway, um, he should do well here, and and Charlie Collar, he should do a phenomenal job too. So those are tight end position is a position where it's like, all right, we we know they about to go off. We got all the confidence in the world, and with the Ravens again drafting two tight ends while they already had three tight ends, yeah, that's the ultimate. Stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready, and also the ultimate. Hey. Giro, no excuses. But anyway, somebody else who they signed, uh, who, which was announced today, uh, about maybe an hour, hour and a half ago from when you see this, we'll see, depending on how fast or slow my internet wants to go, it'll let you know. Um, Damien, I was about to say Damien Prince, Damarian Williams, uh, Damarian Williams, uh, cornerback, Pepe, and the last person that I heard called themselves Pepe was uh, Ocho Cinco. So if he can follow in those footsteps but the cornerback version, then we're going to be in some pretty good shape. Um, so that's the Ravens are moving. They're moving. Uh, like we talked about yesterday in a video, um, once one draft pick gets signed and another one does and another one does, and when, once players around your draft class get signed who are drafted around you, that makes it a lot easier, even though you pretty much know because the, the numbers are pretty much set. Uh, as far as how much you're going to get paid based off of where you were drafted at. Now, this uh, is where, for me, I uh, I didn't know. I learned something new today, and I wanted to share it with y'all. Uh, some of you all may have seen it already. Um, but something that a lot of us, I know myself, I had always wondered it, but I had never really thought about it too much. Uh, I had always wondered, like, man, these draft picks, they out here practicing. Like we talked about in the video yesterday, we, we've seen all of them practicing. Uh, we've seen all of them out there uh, at the OTAs and whatnot doing their thing. And I know OTAs are supposed to be today, too, I believe. Um, but we've seen them at, at the OTAs and we see it every year where they're out there. They're practicing, but they'll be doing all this practicing before uh, their deals are signed. And it ain't like they out there going tackle and whatnot, da, 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 but they'll be out there practicing. And we know like you practicing, that's that's a big risk. That's a risk because I know a lot of players that that's why they, a lot of them will hold out if they're looking to be traded or they're looking to be uh, signed to a big deal. They'll hold out just because if you practice and say, for instance, you get hurt, then your value uh, will decrease depending on the player, depending on the team, depending on the situation. But they don't even like taking that risk. Uh, so when it comes to rookies, uh, that's something that I always kind of thought about, but never really thought about in detail. But. Uh, somebody asked a question to Jeff Zrebik on Twitter. Uh, his name is Jake. He said, um, just curious, from a business standpoint, do they sign placeholders or something to go in and practice OTAs before the deal is done? Or how does that work? And, and that was a really, really, really good question. So I appreciated the fact that he uh, asked that. But on top of that, 
I appreciate the fact that Jeff Zrebik answered it because he said they signed what's called a participation agreement. And that's something that I have never heard of before, ever. I did not know about that, had not heard about it, nothing. But they signed a participation agreement. So then Jake followed that up. He said, I'll have to Google it. Do they have a deadline to sign all the draft players without a penalty or losing rights to them? Um, and he said, you have a full year to sign a player uh, or you lose his rights in the following year's draft. That I didn't know either. And I don't recall a situation even ever getting that far to where a player gets drafted and he doesn't end up getting signed. And then a year later, it becomes, a, I guess, a free agent or they lose his rights. Or whatever. I, I do. I, I still hate that term rights to the player, exclusive rights. And right. I, I, I just uh, that wasn't there. I never really liked that. Um, but I know that's that's the term that the NFL uses or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, I didn't know about that. Never seen a scenario where that happens. But we learned something new today. So I learned something new. So hopefully y'all learn something new too. Even though y'all are way smarter than me, so I'm sure plenty of y'all probably knew this stuff already. Y'all probably looking at me like, man, that's it's whole news, man. What are you talking about, man? You get with the program, man. You're so late, man. You didn't know that, man. What what, what have you been watching? But yeah, so it's all good. So yeah, man, they 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 getting stuff wrapped up. Um, they getting the draft class wrapped up, uh, and it's 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 happening. It's happening. So that's. A good thing. Um, it gives, and I think for the players especially, it it gives them peace of mind. Um, because, yeah, just in case, like just in case, and it's like it's like if you're working a job, and they gave you, they might have given you like a little introductory check or something. Even though jobs don't give you no introductory check, um, but they might give you a little something. Like, hey, thanks for coming on, da, 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 a, a, a signing bonus. There you go, a little signing bonus. But in real life, not in NFL, even though NFL is real life for some people, but not us. But anyway, if a, if a new job that you got, they gave you a little signing bonus, like, hey, you're hired, there you go, thanks for coming on. Um, but you you work in the job, and you're like, man, I'm, I ain't get paid yet. I'm working, but I ain't get paid yet. It could have you feeling like, kind of uneasy it could have you feeling like you don't want to go as hard when you're working or whatnot and i'm sure like if you've ever been in a situation um i have before it is very it's very frustrating where you've been at a job and the the payment your your, your paycheck does not come on time your paycheck does not come when they said your paycheck was going to be there uh either that happens or your paycheck gets there and it's dead wrong Ooh, speaking from experience, that is one of the most frustrating things in the world. But anyway, back to what we were talking about before. Um, if you're working a job and you're not getting paid, it can make you feel very uneasy. It could be very uncomfortable. Um, and you could be like, man, should I really be giving my all here, here, right here, right now? And that's a possibility that could happen uh, with the rookies. Uh, they may feel a little bit uneasy, not not nothing crazy, because again, Jeff he did talk about the 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 agreement. Um, but yeah, I'm sure once they do sign, uh, it's like it's it's a breath of fresh air and a breath of fresh money too, because they they get that that money officially uh, in their bank account. It ain't there yet. It ain't there till they sign. But once they get it, then it's like okay, all right, we're good. Let, let's get it now. Um, but anyway, that's that. So team, keep it clean. Hey. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to all the rookies with Pepe. Um, he just this his him being drafted um, along with uh, Jalen too. The two cornerbacks we drafted. Um, those draft picks. I, I'm even happier about those draft picks, especially after we signed Kyle Fuller, because again. Marcus, I, Marcus, not P, Peters, not Marcus Williams. Marcus Peters coming back from major injury. Uh, Marlon Humphrey is back from major injury, so he did his thing, um, and I think his was more so of a uh, a rehab. I don't think he had to have surgery. I don't believe, but anyway, Ravens should be getting their top two corners back, um, and then they did behind that. It was like, oh, okay, who's it gonna be? I'm like, well, what's it gonna be? Even though we still got Brandon Stevens too, uh, so again, the expectation is that he plays a lot of corner this year, but. Then they signed Kyle Fuller. It's like, or with, with them having Brandon Stevens, it's like, oh, depth. 
Or Darius Washington, he could play some slot corner. It's like, ooh, depth. Kyle Fuller, he could play slot corner, outside corner. It's like, ooh, depth. And, and, and not only depth, but quality depth. And then on top of that, you got the two cornerbacks that you drafted. So it's like, ooh, it, it's just because we know. We know, we know, we know about the secondary. It happens every year. Last year, doesn't it ever happen that bad? But it happens every year where their depth gets tested. Hopefully this year, none of the depth gets tested. Hopefully this year, everybody stays 110% healthy. Hopefully. That would be great. That would be the best. But we know things happen, unfortunately. It's part of the game. But the Ravens really... um, Especially with these two draft picks specifically that, that have recently signed Isaiah Likely um, and Demarion, they just, they, they have depth at those areas, man. And they have a lot of it. And that really makes me happy. Makes me happy. We talked about how um, with a rookie, there's that potential feeling of being uneasy uh, if you don't have your contract signed. Um, again, they talked about the, the thing that Jeff brought up, but they could be potentially uneasy. But then when they sign it, it's like, oh, breath of fresh air. It's the same way for me um, heading into this offseason, this season, uh, when it was just, all right, Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey. Uh, then it was like, ooh, okay, well, what's after that? But then after the draft and then after a little bit more free agency, it's like, oh, okay. <sighs> is a breath of fresh air, and now I'm a lot more confident uh, about that secondary heading into the season. And, and don't don't get me started on safety because we got about mm, we always talk about how we got about like twenty three tight ends, which we do. Uh, we probably got about uh, probably about sixteen safeties, probably about a good good sixteen safeties uh, on the roster right now. Um, we know all of them ain't gonna make it, but we got quite a bit. So the depth there is very very good too. And again, quality depth, man. Quality depth. Got different guys with starting experience because they are obvious starters. Um, Chuck Clark, if he stays with the team, um, I still think that he could probably be on the way out, but we'll see. Um, but with Chuck Clark, Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, those are your, your primary safeties. Um, but then you also have Geno Stone. He has starting experience. You also have... Um, Tony Jefferson, he has starting experience. You also have Brandon Stevens, he has starting experience. So that the depth, it just makes you that much more confident heading into the season. But anyway, team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I thank you all. I love you all. And we out.